Assalamu alaikum. My name is Karim Barudin. I'll be cooking a lamb acne, which is a one pot dish. Um, it's basically curry and rice cooked together. So it's such a simple dish. I will be cooking it in four easy steps. So you can see in terms of ingredients, the processes that we'll use would be very easy. So I'm going to share that recipe with you today. I'm now ready to cook, so let's just go through the ingredients. What do I need in order to cook this uh, lamb acne? I need my butter, uh, yogurt, uh, coconut cream, my spice, tomato puree, lamb pieces, potatoes, and brown basmati rice. So I'm going to switch on my induction cooker and I'm going to put it on simmer just to warm my pot. Then I've got 50 moles of butter, which I'm going to melt down. Now you can use oil, you can use margarine, you can use many things, but I prefer butter. The reason for butter is it's healthy. Um, number two is, in terms of your finished product, it will give you a very good taste and a color to your rice, because remember, we're cooking the rice and the curry in one pot. So butter is always a, the first choice. People say it's expensive, but when you look at the cost of the end result, then you will know that it's quite, it's worthwhile using the butter. As you can see, my pot is beginning to sizzle. I'm now ready to start the process. You don't want to burn butter. Otherwise, you're gonna get a better taste. So what I'll be doing now is putting my meat slowly into the pot. Now, the other thing with meat is that, you know, sometimes we end up washing the meat, drenching it in water. When we put it in the pot, it is waterlogged. Now, as you can see, my meat is pretty dry. And the reason for that is that when I wash the meat, I rinse out all the excess water. Because when there's additional water, you're just wasting time in trying to put um, that water away. Whereas if the water is, if there's no water, you can start cooking immediately. Another very important tip in the kitchen that I believe in is that you've got to braise your meat. And you need to seal that meat so that each one looks as brown as this. So you're browning the meat now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add 70 grams of the spices. Now as I mentioned earlier, it's got everything in there. Now again, when I add the spices, I'm in no rush to empty my container, little bit at a time, mix that through. My pot is sizzling as you can see. So now I'm going to add a little bit of water just so that I don't burn my meat. And I'm beginning to create a gravy. So it's sizzling away um, and um, I'm ready to, on my way to cooking uh, the spot of Aki. So I'm beginning to see some bubbles as you can see in my pot. So now I'm going to start adding my yogurt. Cook that through, then the next thing that I'm going to do is add Now, yogurt, what, the reason we use yogurt is because yogurt is also a tenderizer. So now in the cooking process, it will also facilitate the tenderness of the meat. 
um, so that it becomes soft very quickly without burning it, without, and you can see I'm still on low heat. I haven't um, raised it at the temperature on my stove. So I'm still cooking until I've got everything in. So now I'm going to cook at a higher temperature. And that is now just so that I can get the meat ready. So the only other thing that I need to add in is I'm done with that. I'm going to add my tomato paste. You can use tomato paste purely and um, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to add my potatoes. Now I've done a bit of a, of a cheat on the potatoes and I think that's a useful uh, tip. What I've done is, after I cube my potatoes, I put it in the microwave for about five minutes. So, par cook it. And that facilitates when I'm going to add it into my pot in terms of the cooking process. I might add my tomato puree. You can substitute it with tomato paste, whatever you wish is fresh tomatoes that you can uh, liquidize and also use. Sometimes when you're cooking, you find a piece of grey meat and you ask yourself, why is this one is red, other part of the meat is grey? It's because it wasn't submerged in the water when the cooking process was taking place. So you can see, what I'm doing here is I'm making sure that my water is uh, covering my meat so that every piece of meat is cooking through with the spice. So what we've done here now is we've added in the spice, the water, the yogurt, the tomato puree. So now I'm waiting for all those components to come together so that they can fuse, which is where the taste comes from. So the next, the only other thing that I'm going to add now is potatoes and rice. What I also like to do with uh, acne is I substitute part of my water with coconut cream. Now coconut cream makes acne then a very decadent dish. So acne, uh, the coconut cream will give it obviously a nice flavor, makes it more exotic. So it turns a simple dish into an exotic dish. And there are many other things you can add. You can add in roasted nuts, you can add in some uh, slivered uh, almonds. Uh, cashew nuts and that then makes it very very decadent now you can see that what's happening here the bubbles are coming up and you've got little blotches here so what's happening there now is what we want to achieve here is we want a smooth uh, uh, gravy so the water the spices they're beginning to they're not fighting with each other anymore they are beginning to become one happy family to give us one dish I'm now ready to add my potatoes and again I'm going to add them a little bit at a time not just dunk them in put them in, stir them in those are the important processes that you need in order to get the perfect dish so now I'm going to cook that through for a couple of minutes so, We've now followed the process, you've seen no onions, nothing else on the table. It's only those things. I'm now going to be adding my coconut cream shortly. I want it to sizzle more so that when it sizzles, it tells me that everything is fusing together as you can see. And then I've only got one more step to do and that is add my rice and voila, I'm done. And then I'm going to leave it to steam for about 10 minutes to cook through. And that's it. So as easy as that. Okay, so I'll attempt now to, again, little bit at the time, stir bot bottom up. Because while your pot is sizzling, you also don't want it to sizzle all the time. You want to hear the, the noise, but then you also want to silence the pot. And the only thing that's going to silence it is liquid, which is water, coconut cream, coconut milk. And off you go and you start the cooking process. 
the rice, what I've done is when I started the cooking process, I washed my rice, but I've left it in the water, okay? So that there's moisture in it, and I can let the rice now, so now I'm adding in the rice with the water, because often we throw the water away, we don't need to throw the water away. Cooked a pot of, um, of acne. Again, my meat, my rice, everything is covered in there. So I'll just let that cook for a few minutes and then I'll give it another stir just to make sure that it doesn't burn at the bottom. And um, voila, then I'm done. Okay, here we are ready to serve my acne. As you can see, the aroma is amazing, easy. You can see the rice is not mushy, it is not sticking to each other, perfect. And I'm now ready to push into my bowl so that we can start eating. And as you can see that the processes have been simple, I didn't use onions, no cheats, everything was done in front of you. You can see my pot, um, everything is there, it's ready to be eaten the color, the texture, those are the important things that one looks for with when you're cooking. All I'm going to do is add some dania, coriander. Often I find that people overdo it with dania. You know, dania needs to be simple. It's just, it just adding that herby aroma in there. Um, and then your dishes, my dish is ready to be served. So voila, enjoy. And I hope you can make it, you can go on to the uh, uh, Cook Halal uh, website and find the recipe there. It's easy, um, not complicated, and if I can do it, anybody can do that.